Hello guys, this is Babylon, and I'm going to be bringing you an instructional video on box selection and box deselection. So this will be my my first YouTube video in a while, and I'm going to be I'm going to be making quite a few YouTube videos, uh, tutorials or guides if you want to call them that, about different mechanical things in StarCraft 2, things to teach you. I'll probably make some rant videos. I'll make a, I'll make a lot of different videos, but I'm going to try to put out a lot of video guides uh, teaching different various things uh, that the pros do, the noobs do, and what you can do, and, and how you can learn them, and how you can try and master them. So what my first video here is going to be all about is this right here, a box. This is the uh, magical StarCraft II box selection technique. So what you're And the way that you make a box in StarCraft II is by holding down the left click button, and then dragging your cursor across the screen and then letting go and that will actually as you saw there it selected those units and this is like one of the most basic actions that you can do in StarCraft 2 because you need to select your units you always need to be making these boxes and so I'm going to explain different techniques different uses of, of how to make the boxes why you do it so this is how you make a box hold left press down the left click hold it drag a box and that will allow you to select something. So the first thing that I'm going to go over here is just selecting a single unit. The most basic action in Starcraft 2 is just selecting a single SCV. So you can see I have one SCV here and I'm just, I left click it once. I'm just left clicking it one time and that selects the unit. But with the box selection technique you're actually going to make a box around the SCV and that will select it. And the reason that you, you want to do this, the reason why box selection and deselection techniques are so important for any player to learn and acquire and master is because it's much, it's much more, uh, it reduces the amount of error when it comes to selecting units. Instead of, if I want to pick one of these SCVs out of here, it is difficult for a newer player if you're just learning to just select the SCV you want. As you can see, I'm clicking, I'm actually clicking my cursor and I'm missing. I'm like, I want to get that SCV, I want to get that one. But if you actually make a box around the unit, it'll be a lot easier to select it. So what I'm going to do here is go through some exercises of showing you the box selection techniques. And so the first and most basic box selection technique we'll have here is selecting one unit. So we have one poor lonely marine here and so instead of just simply left clicking on him one time what you want to do is you want to make a box around that marine just like that and that will select him. And when you're first learning how to actually box select units and things like this you want to start out making big boxes. You just want to make a huge friggin box around your unit. And the reason you want to do that is to reduce the amount of error and as you get better you keep making smaller boxes until suddenly you're making boxes that are around this big, just tiny, tiny little boxes around your units. And that will make it so you can quickly select them and get them into a unit group or whatever. So I have this Marine. I want to make a box around them. So you basically drag your cursor, make a box, you selected. And as you get better at this, you want to be making boxes really quickly, a lot more quickly to select your Marine or your one unit. And that's why at the start of almost, you know, every, most pro games, you'll see these pros warming up and they're making these box, you'll, you'll be wondering when you first watch pros, why are they making these boxes? If you ever watch someone in first person, they keep making all these boxes around their units. And that's something they're selecting, they're just warming up the selection process. Because this action, this repeated, this making a box action is something you do over the course of an entire StarCraft game. So you're going to keep doing this over and over. This is something you have to get really used to when you're starting to learn the game. So now I'm going to select a group of units. I'm going to select these four SCVs here. So I'm just going to make a box around those SCVs. And then actually select all the SCVs. Now, selection isn't the only thing in StarCraft 2 for refining your unit control. There's also deselection. And the way you deselect a unit from a group is by holding down the shift key on your keyboard and you can left click a single unit and that will deselect it. There's three ways to do it. You have these all selected. To deselect one SCV, you hold down shift, left click an SCV, that will deselect it. Or you can hold down shift and make a box around it and that will deselect it. The final way to deselect a unit is by right here on the bottom of the screen where those, unit, those little tiny uh, unit portraits are under the hotkeys, 
you can actually hold shift and left click on those portraits down there and that will remove SCVs from the groups. So boom, boom, boom. So the reason you want to do this uh, in the game is if you don't want to use it in the group, you want to get rid of it. And so what we're going to go over here is, you know, you're boxing the unit. You're removing one unit from the group, removing another, removing another. Let's say you want those two SCVs that have minerals in their hands in the group. Then you select those two, hold down shift, select that one, hold down shift, select that one. You got all four SCVs in a group now. So they're all they're all in a gang now. <laughs> so you always want to hold down shift. So let's so one exercise you can use to practice selection and deselection techniques are just by going into a custom game and moving your SCVs around. So do a move command, select one, two, three, four, and then do an SU another move command. One, two, three, four, move them. One, two, three, four, move them somewhere else. One, two, three, four, and you want to select them in a pattern that is a conscious pattern, so you're actually practicing selecting which one you want to target. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that is your basic box selection techniques. So let's say you're moving them somewhere, and you want to get rid of the SCVs that have minerals in their hands. Hold down the shift key, make a box around those two. Now suddenly you got only these two in the group. Those are the only two gang members left. But we want those two gang members back in the group now. So, just like we did before, hold the shift key, box that one, box that one. All four gang members are together again. So you can see how, how just this basic action of holding on a shift and then selecting a the unit to deselect it or to add it into a group can help you refine your unit control. And so we have all those SCVs there, we just select them. So another thing that we can actually do here, and as you get better at making boxes, you actually want to make them smaller and smaller. The smaller the better. So what we're going to do is we're going to move these uh, SCV gang members over here, and they're going to meet these Marines. So another use for selection and deselection is, let's say you, let's say you selected all these units on your screen in one group, but... You actually, you only want the uh, SCVs in the group, so make a box around the SCVs. But let's say you have them all selected. You can also hold shift and boom, boom, boom. Now you have only the SCVs in the group, and you can do that for the Marines too. If you want just the Marines, let me spread these out again. Have them all selected, hold shift, get rid of those SCVs, now they're out. But if you don't want to get rid of every SCV, let's say you just want to get rid of the middle two, shift, hold shift, make a box, hold shift, make a box, now those middle two are not in the group. And what this is useful for, as we'll see right here, is let's say you're in a TVZ game and you're microing. That marine there in the middle is almost dead. So if you have all these units in the group and you're moving them towards their opponent, but you don't want that marine to die, make a right click back, make a box around that one marine in the center, make a box, get rid of them. Oops. There we go. And then make a box around him and he'll go the other way. So let's try that again here. We don't want that Marine in the group. We went to attack the enemy. So retreat, make a box around that one Marine and then send your units back and that, that poor Marine will go home and he'll uh, get home to a medevac pilot and probably fool around with her or something. But he'll be alive. And so the other thing that, another use for uh, box selection and deselection is let's say you're making a Marine. Let's say you're going to attack a third base, and you want to add the Marines that are coming out of a barracks into the group that you currently have. So we're running these Marines to the opponent, and your barracks, you're going to add the Marine that comes out right into the same group of Marines. So those are on the way. Hold shift, make a box around them. Now they're, they're all in the same exact control group, so you can just have them in one group and just control them all at once. So it's useful when you're, re when you're getting units out of a rally point to hold shift and make a box to add them to the group. Now, the other good thing about box selection and deselection is, say I want to send these SCVs to right here on the map, right here on the map, right here on the map, and then I want to send one right there or something. Instead of selecting one, sending it there, selecting one, sending it there, and doing that over and over again, you can just have them all in one group, one group send them to one location, Make a box, deselect one, send them to another location. Make a box, deselect one, send them to the other location. Make a box, or just select the last one, and then send them to another location. So now, all four of those SCVs went in four different directions. So that's another use for deselection and box selection. And a lot of players, 
now you have four SCVs on four different parts of the map and a lot of the newer players are wondering how the hell do I select all those when I only have one screen man I only got this one screen and I only can select this one SCV but I want all four of those SCVs in the same group so that's where the select holding shift and the selection comes in so select your one SCV hold shift make a box around that one hold make sure you're still holding shift make a box around that one still holding shift make a box and then right click them and then all those guys from four different screen locations now they're all in one group and you can re-hockey those which I'll go over in another video but now they're now you've selected all four and they were on four different parts of the map so just the basic box technique is really really useful and you have to master doing this and you get quicker at it you'll actually be able to make these boxes really quick and that'll help you fine tune your unit control because you'll be sending this to the location and you can just quickly practice making your boxes and that will help you refine your unit control you, you can see I'm making them pretty quick here so I'm just sending them and boxing them and the smaller the box the more accurate you'll be but it really it reduces the amount of error selecting so you're not trying to not trying to do pinpoint selection because if you do pinpoint selection it's going to be much harder so this this is the technique that you'll want to master I'll be coming out with a lot more videos and tutorials like this but definitely make those boxes. Keep that marine alive, guys. Send them back home to the medevac, all right? So this has been your box selection and deselection tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from it. But definitely get used to using the shift key and making those boxes. So go make those boxes, guys. Peace.